What is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome back to Vlogmas. It is day five. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I install my wig. Mm -hmm. So as you just see, I'm putting some do grow oil on my hair because gotta keep my hair moisturized gotta keep some oil in it because this is all natural y'all don't talk about my braids um my neo was not home to braid my hair so i just threw in four quick braids after my um braided ponytail baby um because yeah mm -mm, i wasn't finna do a whole a whole head full of cornrows in my head it was already after one o'clock in the morning i had to get up for nine the next morning mm -mm, really eight but anyway I'm gonna take some of my got to be glue and I'm about to put it around my edges and just slick my edges back because you want to make sure that your edges are slick back under your wig cap because if you take your wig off and all your edges come out you're gonna be mad right okay yeah that's what I thought you're gonna be mad so I'm just taking that got to be glue and just putting it everywhere whatever the case may be all around um the edges of my hair and by the way y'all this is a four by four um closure wig it is a 30 inch wig from well wear hair off aliexpress um this is my second time wearing this wig i have washed it um i bleached the knots um the knots took really well i really liked it um the length is true to length like it's very very long but i'm short anyway so yeah but it's very very long it's a body wave wig um curls hold for a good a good amount of time until you start sweating them out once you start sweating them out baby they gone but mm -hmm, yeah um but i do like this hair um yeah that's pretty much it but as y'all can see right now i'm brushing my edges back and i'm about to blow dry them so that they can um basically freeze in place with they got to be glue um y'all keep saying oh um, like oh my gosh because i really don't know uh what's coming up next i just edited the video <laughs> so excuse me y'all but yeah i'm just brushing my edges back and i'm taking the blow dryer and brushing everything back i don't know what was going on right here baby i i had to do a voiceover because i was playing music in the background because i was like i'm not gonna talk through this and i have nothing going on it was already after one o'clock in the morning i was already tired so yeah <laughs> but um once i finished doing that i just went ahead and took this ball cap now y'all don't talk about me this ball cap is not my regular ball cap that i be using this was the only ball cap i could find but i did find my other ones later but this is the only ball cap I can find, and it's not my skin shade or, like, lighter than me. It's really darker than me. But I just roll with it because I ain't have nothing else, y'all. So, we just gonna roll with it today. Um, but I'm cutting the ear holes out of my ear um, so that I can put everything, like, put the cap around my ear or whatever the case may be. Now, like I said, this is a closure wig, so you really don't have to do all that, but I do it anyway. Um... So right here, I'm just taking the wig and placing it on my head to see where I need to put my glue at since it is a closure. I just needed to see where I need to start placing that glue and that spray so that I can go ahead and mold my wig cap down to my head. So yeah, um, but this is the wig. I know y'all can see it. Um, the only thing I will say about this wig is it's thin. That's something I didn't like, but I should have known because it's a 30 inch, and you know, the longer the inches, the, the thinner the hair be. So I should have known that, but for the most part, I really like this wig. I can make it full if I want to make it full, depending on how I style my hair. But after a while, it looks pretty full. So, I mean, if that makes sense, do that make sense to y'all? I hope so. But as y'all see, I'm putting the, the got to be glue on the cap and i'm just spreading it around and i'm gonna um take that blow dryer and blow dry that down and make sure that the cap gets stuck to my forehead because yeah we need to make sure that this cap is stuck and not going nowhere you feel me all right mm -hmm. and y'all by the way by like while i was making this video i was also making a tiktok so it was just a lot going on, child. It was just a lot going on. I was trying to make a TikTok and make a regular video. I was trying to multitask because I be trying to make as much content as possible. But 
baby and this vlogmas is taking me out but like i hope y'all been enjoying my love vlogmas videos i really been trying you feel me oh i'm taking some got to be glue spray and spraying it on i like to use free spray better than the glue because the glue just it leaves a lot of residue and it makes it makes a lot of mess versus the spray the spray is so much easier and a lot thinner i would say but yeah i just spray that until i'm good and confident that it's stuck you feel me but when you when you blow dry make sure that like you're feeling like you're gonna see me kind of rub my cap if you can rub your cap and you don't feel nothing like if it feel like you know just straight cap it's completely dry if it still feel tacky or like your fingers get stuck to it it's not completely droppable keep drying okay mm -hmm. but anyway yeah i hope y'all been enjoying my vlogmas content i really been trying i've been trying to plan it out um because like i said in day one like i didn't do vlogmas last year and i really wanted to do vlogmas this year so i was like let me come back because y'all yeah, really been missing doing youtube but i've been so busy with school like i'm gonna graduate and SG Robe been taking up all my time. Like, <laughs> I work, like, y'all. Everything just been taking up everything. So, the stuff that I used to be able to do in my free time, I don't have the time to do it no more. So, now that we're on Christmas break, I'm really trying to, you know, get back into it. So, right here, um, I'm about to cut under the ear with my scissors because, like I said, it's a closure wig. So, all that's really not necessary. But I'm just going to cut that off and then I'm going to take the two extra strings in the back and I'm just going to tie it in the back. Y'all finna see me do that because um, that's just going to make my cap tighter on my head and it's going to make it stay. So we just going to tie us a little knot in the back, y'all. <laughs> it's the thick braids up under here for me. But hey, it worked. Sure, my hair looks just fine. But before next week, I do need to get it rebraided. Hello. All right. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to lift up as close to my hairline as possible or to my liking because I still want to make sure that my hair is protected under this wig cap. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut off all that excess cap. That is around there. Some people, when they do closure wigs, I think y'all seen me do it one time. Um, you can sew the cap down to your hair to make that closure uh, part of the cap more defined. I ain't really care like that this time. If y'all want a more in-depth, like, you know, yeah, the way to do it, I can. But right here, I just did not feel like it. Like, it, like I said, it was already 1 o'clock in the morning. I had to be up at 8, had to get on the bus by 10. Like, y'all, I wasn't packed. Like, it was just already too much going on. So, I just wanted to get this wig on. But I needed, I did need to do the wig cap method because I had a performance. And I didn't want my wig to fall off because y'all had my wig fell off. I would have just walked off the stage. So, yeah. I'm still just cutting this wig cap off my head getting it as close to my skin as possible y'all make sure y'all be careful so that y'all don't cut yourselves some people like to use eyebrow razors i find that eyebrow razors um cut me so i use scissors but now i'm gonna go on with my ruby kiss i don't know what shade i be using y'all. i just be using a shade like i just be using a shade but it really didn't matter because the wig cap was already dark so mm, baby i ain't know what to do but this is my wig. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen it earlier. I had just washed it. Um, and I let it air dry. So now I'm going to take my foundation and I'm going to put it on the lace. This is very key, ladies. Make sure you're putting foundation on your lace so that it matches your wig cap and your skin tone and all that good stuff. And make sure that you not only put it on, like, the inside of the lace. When you flip it over, make sure you put it on top. Like, you can kind of see me do it a little bit. Um, but flip it over and put it on top like where the actual hairline is because sometimes that makeup don't bleed through baby and then y'all be wondering why y'all be having a little ashy ash at the top of your wig baby you need to flip it over you see right here you need to flip it over and put you a little makeup right there on the ends yeah that's all you need to do so i'm finna comb this wig out i ain't have my brush y'all i left it out there um on the chair i ain't feel like going back to get it so now I'm just going to put the wig on and see the placement of where everything needs to go um, and make sure that that's where I really want it 
and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cute, I guess, whatever. But um, I need, I just need to make sure that my placement was correct where I cut the cap off it. So now I'm going to take my bow hold, um, extreme bow or extreme hold, whatever that bottle stay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take that. Y'all, that bottle was on its last leg and it still is, but I'm going to still use it till it's all gone. Um, and I'm just taking this old comb that I always use to glue my wigs. I really need to give me a new one because it's just it's it's a mess um but i just do four thin layers of glue around the um cap in my skin so like you don't want to go too much past the cap but you don't want to go too much like you don't want to just put it on the cap because you want to make sure that the lace is literally a little bit in front of where you put your ball cap at right because you still want it to look like skin you still want it to melt if you put it directly on top of that it's gonna look mad it's gonna look a mess and it's gonna look like a wig for real like you know i hope that makes sense y'all but yeah i just did four thin layers which it don't when you do thin layers like you supposed to it don't take long to actually um like dry and stuff like that it really don't take long but you just want to make sure that you put in thin layers and just blow drying it. I don't know if I was using warm or hot. Um, some people use warm, some people use hot. Just depends on what you want to do. Me, I don't care. But ah, turn me up. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was like my second layer of glue. So now I'm gonna go in with this third layer right here. And like I said, like my stuff was on this last leg, so I was just like putting the comb inside the bottle because. Um, for some reason, the little thingy thingy wasn't working. The, um, squirt part of it. I don't know what happened, but yeah. <laughs> so this is my third layer. And yeah, I just, I put four layers, y'all. Because I really want my wigs to stay on for a little minute. Like my, my closure wigs last me about two to three weeks. Um, my frontal wigs last me about a week to two weeks, but sometimes if I just need to put the wig on and put it back off, I really don't care what that frontal looking like, but I think my last frontal, I really kept it up for like two weeks because I was continuing the maintenance on it, making sure I kept it tied down. If I wasn't doing nothing else, it was going to be tied down because yeah, I need my wigs to stay on for a little minute. You feel me? So yeah. Um... Yeah, this is me just, you know, trying to put down that fourth layer. And like you see, it's still clear. Like, that's what you want. Like, your, your wig should still, like, your glue should still be clear. So now I'm going to take the wig and I'm just going to place it on top of the glue and making sure that I'm firmly pressing it in. So take your fingers and just press it in. Make sure it's all getting in there. Then I take my comb and I like to, the way that you know that your glue is actually stuck, comb your hair to the bed. When you comb that hair to the bed, if the lace still lifting, mm -mm, baby, you need to add some more glue. But if it ain't moving and it's stuck, why you why you can comb it back? Mm -hmm. You you got it, baby. So I just like to take my blow dryer and just really like press into that glue and making sure that it's completely dry and that my wig is completely stuck to my head because you know you don't want to be out there and your wig fall out baby now this wig does come with three clips or four clips it comes with one like at the top and the middle but i really don't use that one um it come with the one in the back and two on the sides so i did make sure that i clipped them i think i cut that part out because i don't know um <clears throat> but yeah so i had already did that so then i was trying to see what kind of part did i want to do but i didn't like this side for some reason i don't like this side um for parting so i changed it up but i still had other stuff to do before i even thought about parting my hair for real for real so but i was just playing with it you know just to see what i like see what i wanted to do and i decided you know this is the side part that i like some people can do bust down middles um kennedy cannot like <laughs> kennedy just can't do the bust down middle but um right here i'm just spraying some got to be glue because got to be glue really melts like when i say it really melts like it really melts 
your your lace so I wanted to make sure everything was stuck and everything was melted and good you feel me you feel me so I'm just taking that comb and just pressing it up into my skin baby and yeah we trying to make sure that it's melted and that it's laid and stuff like that like I said I don't know what I had it on I look like I have it on warm because the bottom is normally warm now if you do want a middle part y'all I realized like once I put the glue down um my big was a little crooked but I ain't care uh <laughs> because I was on the side part anyway so that just gave me more you know bang on on one side you feel me um, but right here, I'm trying to carve out my baby hairs. I don't think I knew what I wanted to do because I had already had some baby hairs in this wig. Where they went, I don't know. But, um, I just made some new ones. But eventually, I just, like, went across and tried to make some new baby hairs. But, you know, I like to do, like, the C part baby hairs with, like, you know, little widows peeking in the middle, you feel me? So, but eventually, I got... A little frustrated here and I was like I don't know what I want to do so I had just carved out everything at one point um yes there you go I had just carved it all out at one point but I was like no like it's already a four by four what I'm gonna do with the middle <laughs> you feel me so I mm -mm, it wasn't giving so I um I just went ahead and this just kind of gave me a little guideline to go ahead and carve out um the sides of it and what i'm gonna do so um yeah i just went ahead and just see carve those out or whatever but you don't want to carve out too much because i mean you still want your closure right like i still want i don't want to have no bald headed closure you feel me so um yeah, I'm just carving out those little sea baby hairs and just really taking my time. And I'm sorry that this video is so long, but I did want y'all to see what I do like full speed, not like half speed. You feel me? So, yeah, so I'm just carving, carving this out. And I'm just going to put them to the front once I, so I can really see like how I want to carve them. You feel me? So, yeah, so we just gonna keep on carving, 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 carving. I mean, truly, putting on your wig, it's just like, it's nothing to it, y'all. I promise. But, I'm gonna go ahead and hot comb those baby hairs on down. Yes, ma'am. To make sure that they are a little bit more laid. I think I burned myself. Oh, no, maybe not with the hot comb. But, I'm gonna take uh, my Care Care Wax Stick. If y'all know me, y'all know that is the OG wax stick that I used, baby, for a very, 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 very long time. Um, yeah, I love me a good Care Care Wax stick, baby. So, I'm just going to hot comb the rest of my hair back so that I can keep it from being up there with the baby hairs. And just go ahead and melt that onto the back. You feel me? And you want to make sure that you really, like... Pressing that hot comb into the closure, into the front or whatever you got. Making sure you really, really pressing that up in there. Because you want to make sure that your wig is flat, baby. When I say flat, I mean flat. Flat, flat, baby. Because that's definitely how I want it. I want it to be flat, flat. So, yeah. So, I'm just hot combing everything to the bag. Making sure that it's real nice and flat. Because that's going to also give me... Um, kind of like a map out of how I want to do my part you know what I'm saying yeah y'all feel me y'all feel me um the only thing I don't like about getting already made wigs is that if it's not a frontal like you know it's just like I don't know I can't really describe it but I'm gonna go ahead and put all that hair to the back like y'all see what I mean like, y'all see on the sides, like, that's what I don't like, but okay. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to pull the hair up, and I'm going to clip it to the back because I wanted, um, I was going to go ahead and put on my band, so I wanted all the hair out of the way. That way I could put my band on, have a little singing moment, you feel me? I told y'all I had some music playing. But yeah, that's how it looked. 
So now I'm just gonna take a little makeup and put it on top of the lace just to give it a little more blendy blend. You feel me? I really want it to look like a little scalp. <laughs> just a little. So now I'm about to cut my baby hairs. Now y'all, y'all finna see my face, but I realized I messed up on how to cut my baby hairs on that side. So when you cut them, you want to cut them at a diagonal, but I cut them at the wrong diagonal. So depending on what side you are, you always want the inside that's closest to the closure to be the longest. And the side that's closest to like, like the way I just did that one, I did that one correctly. So um, you always want to have the longest piece near your face. I hope that's making sense. But now I'm just gonna take my flat iron and I'm going to curl my baby hair upwards. And y'all, I had burnt myself. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had burnt myself, baby. And then at that point, I said, mm mm, I give up. This is good enough. So I'm gonna take my lot of body um, coconut and what they say, shea oil. Baby, I can't see what it say. But I'm just gonna take my lot of body wrap lotion and I'm gonna. Um, swoop them baby hairs now y'all i'm not a baby hair expert i really hate baby hairs to be honest because it's just so much work for no reason like you feel me like it just be like why you gotta be extra you know so i, I be trying my best with my baby hairs i just be finessing them and just yeah but i'm not no baby hair expert like i said but yeah that that was that was about I played with these baby hairs for I know like an hour, y'all. I just know it was like an hour. But next, I'm gonna take some got to be glue because they got to be glue really be holding your baby hairs down. And if you really tie your hair up every night how you supposed to, oh, it's gonna definitely hold it down. It's gonna definitely hold it down. So I like to put that on top and then re-carve out those baby hairs. Um, yeah, and then that's when that's when it really started giving me a hard time. I said, yeah, I should just left it where it was. But I like my baby hairs to lay flat because, yeah. Mm -hmm. But didn't at that point I was like, baby, I should have just left it where it was. With that doggone wrap lotion because <laughs> I'm about to have a fit, baby. I'm about to have a fit because I like my baby hairs to look a certain type of way. So it's like for me not to really like doing baby hairs i like them a certain type of way but i just baby i just swooped them as best as i could because um yeah it was it was like two something in the morning at that point and i was tired i was like mm -mm, baby these baby hairs need to get to baby hearing because baby i'm as tired and i was there for a long time so i ain't even want to show y'all me doing the other side because I knew I was gonna be there for a very very long time. So once I finished them baby hairs off, baby, I went ahead, took me some got to be glue spray, sprayed that on there, and I'm gonna take my blow dryer and just blow dry that down because it gives it a really nice melt. As you see, skin, it's giving skin. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make sure that I had that really really nice melt going on with that got to be glue spray, and I'm just gonna blow dry that down, make sure that it's nice, tight, and right. You feel me mm -hmm. we gotta get a right get a tight and make sure that you really like blow dry until it's dry because if you don't and you just put that elastic band on top it's going to leave a film and it's going to be white and you don't want that like you want to make sure that this that that glue and that spray that free spray is completely dry or it's gonna leave a white cast in your hair and you're gonna be so sad so now I'm just gonna take my elastic band and just wrap it around my head, tie it in the back, tie it as tight as possible, because you know you move in your sleep and you do this and you do that, and baby, then then you be mad because your baby hairs be looking a mess or your lace slip dance because you didn't tie your band on tight enough. You see how I stretched that and I tied it on real tight up? It should be so tight that it's cutting your ears at night, because that's what it be doing to me. It be cutting my ears at night, but that's how I know it's tight and it's secure. You feel me? So yeah. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make my part. So I wanted a C part um, this time instead of just like a straight back part. So I really just took my time with making this part because yeah, I wanted a C part and I wanted to make sure it was nice, crisp, and clean. You know, whatever I did to get this doggone C part. So y'all just gonna see me do this for a little minute. Uh, yeah, it took me a little minute to do this. So I'm gonna just let y'all watch that because that took some time, energy, um strength baby mm -hmm. 
too much that I didn't have. I, it was so bad, I had to take the, the doggone milk band and kind of like move it a little down so that I could really see what I was doing because I couldn't even speak for real. So yeah, but that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this, this seat, see, oh, scalp, oh, baby. But I'm just gonna make this good old seat part and I want it to be a deep seat, uh, seat part too. So I, I should give me a seat part cone though, you know? Make me a C-Park cone. Y'all be seeing on TikTok? Mm -hmm. That's what I need to do. But yeah, I'm just making me a nice little C-Park in my hair because that's what I wanted. And y'all just really have to take y'all time with this and just really make sure that it's, you know, nice, crisp, and clean how you like it. You know? Mm hmm Alright y'all, so once I got that part all, you know, parted out, whatever the case may be, as y'all saw, I took my Care Care Wax Stick and just lay everything down, and I'm just taking my hot comb and just really pressing it in and making sure that everything is nice and flat. So now I have put my wig band back where it needed to be, and I have just 
brush the hair out you know whatever the case may be making sure i'm getting all the little knots kinks out if there were any for me trying to part my hair xyz so now i'm about to go ahead and curl my hair so i'm gonna let y'all watch me curl my whole head um it is a long process but i know some people be like oh how you get your curls how you get your curls da, 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 da. how you do this how you do that well girl watch the video okay um so you're gonna see me curl it and then you're gonna see me put flexi rods in it flexi rods really be key to keeping y'all curls for real like y'all be sitting there want to play and don't be wanting to put no flexi rods and no pins in y'all hair and be wondering why your curls don't stay all that baby it's because you ain't got nothing in there but y'all gonna see me doing a lot of talking on the screen that's because i was on live because y'all it was like 2 30 in the morning and i was bored and i'm like let me get on live let me see who up and everybody named mama was up so yeah but y'all just gonna watch me curl my hair and i'm doing it at regular speed so i mean if you don't want to see me curl my hair after a while you can you can skip it um you know if you want to see the results because i'm gonna post the results at the end but the results that i posted at the end was actually the day the next day because i was so tired when we got to new orleans y'all like i was so tired and i really forgot that i was i was supposed to have vlog by you classic period baby and i was just so tired i just didn't get a chance to so y'all gonna see um because i wrapped my hair the same way that i wrapped it in this video so you know hopefully that helps y'all to see how the curls turned out but yeah i just want y'all to know that in that next clip that y'all see um yeah it was gonna be um <clears throat> like the next day curls it wasn't gonna be friday's curls it was gonna be saturday's curls but like i said you feel me um i did roll them the same way that i rolled them in this video so you're gonna get the same results um but i think i rolled them wrong i definitely did roll them wrong because it was really supposed to be curls i was really giving one curls because of the way that i wrapped it <laughs> so i mean it don't matter that was still cute but yeah i'm just gonna leave all this at regular speed and let y'all watch me curl my hair that way that y'all can see what i did and how i got my curls or whatever the case may be all right bye
fucking yeah. help her because she's slow as fuck. I've been sleep all day. That's your problem. That, that was the best sleep I ever got. I promise you. I got up to eat. I was like, I'm gonna do something. I started doing something, baby. I cut all them lights. I went right on to sleep. <laughs> I think that step show took me out, baby. Do I have a jacket? Uh-uh. I wish. 